carbon footprint. Most of us think uh, we, uh, we ended our feet, but we, man, it'd be cool if I had that graphic. Some of you guys saw me share that, but like you, you're literally creating electric roots in your, when you step down. And so obviously the world is, is going to, to tease you uh, to, to not do that. It's going to shame you for not doing that. That's the entire reason why there's no carbon footprint. They're trying to cut off your ancestors. That's, that's, this is all about ancestors. If you look at every single migration program, what you're really looking at is someone is severing the, the roots of the grass. It's making you implant and go somewhere else. And the first thing that happens when you migrate is you develop amnesia. You develop ancestral amnesia. You are not able to connect to your bones, to your genetic bones. And your genetic bones have that hollow resonance pattern that's inside them that makes them vibrate in a certain way. And only your genetic tree vibrates in that way. That's why if you look at the Old Testament, you keep reading how Lord Technology says, and do not break those bones. Uh, those bones should remain whole the entire time uh, during Passover. Or he says something like, and we must desecrate the temple with shattered bones. The bones are like really freaking important. They are a resonator. In fact, I'll let you know a secret. I think all of us can levitate. And I think the way we levitate is through oscillations inside our bones. I think that we can hit a resonant frequency by using our brain, by thinking, right? Because you've got three rhythms inside your body. You've got your brain, that's a rhythm. You're creating a rhythmic wave in your, in your mind. You've got a heart rhythm, right? You've got a breathing rhythm. These are your three different rhythms. And if these three rhythms can be resonated together, if they can be uh, harmonically sympathetic, and, and if you were to hit the right frequency with your bones, you would vibrate like a bumblebee. A bumblebee doesn't fly. You guys know that. Bumblebees don't fly. They levitate. They hover. I think we would hover too if we understand our bones, if we know the frequency of our bones. But so many of us, me included, have amnesia. We have ancestral amnesia. That's why grounding is so important because we, we find new bones. We, we, we reconnect. Every day we should each be trying to, to stick our bare feet in the soil. Um, but it's important, especially during the winter, we need to remember where we come from. What we claim earth, we claim the soil when we do that. If you go to a field and you take your shoes off and you place your bare foot in that field, you claim that soil. And we've got it so screwed up that some people are going to be like, oh, you can't claim it. That's how you own stuff. That's bad. No, you don't understand. You're completing the circuit. If the ground didn't want you to make that circuit, it would grow a fucking root there. It would, it would, it would move all of its shit out of the way. You'd be like, no, I don't want you creating a circuit here. Where it gives you dirt, it wants your feet. It wants the circuit. It fucking needs you. The second you touch a tree, the second you touch your feet to the soil, it's able to tap into your endocrine system and sense the world through your body. And you don't understand how amazing it is to be a human because you're a human. Trees are so jealous because they don't get to see what you get to see. Yes, they can sense their world, but they don't have retinas. They don't have the same kind of sensations that we do. They don't have anywhere near the dimension that we have. And, and don't be getting all arrogant because now you got to think about blue whales. Because those guys, holy shit, they are literally attached to the Akashic record of the ocean. They, they, it's extended through them. They're, they're performing electrical calculations just like you are, just like all of us should be doing. And that requires ego. It's, there's no way you're going to be able to send out any kind of pulses. You know, in, in, in sonar, when I was hunting a submarine, I would send out a ping and that ping would, would go out to the, to the ocean and bounce off something and come back. When we do this with radar, 
we used to have to send a radar ping and that ping would hit, hit a, a, a piece of metal and come back and we'd get a signal. In our world right now, there's so much radio interference that in 1970, we stopped having to send pings out. It was no longer necessary to send out a signal because there was so much fucking noise that it just wasn't necessary. That all you had to do was listen that you could just listen now to the environment around you and all the interference would be coming and you'd be able to sense it. You have this exact same ability with your ego, but you've turned it off because you think ego is bad or, or you think it's, well, no, I just don't feel comfortable because of these, this pants. No, it's just these pants, man. I fucking hate these pants. Every time I try and wear these pants, these pants are awful. I freaking hate these pants. Got to get rid of these pants. It's not the pants. And, and, and if you tell me, well, no, this literally is because these pants are too short, they're too small, or they're too whatever. And I'm telling you, no, it still isn't the pants because guess who picked out those pants and put them on? There is still an egoic hole, a breach that's happening. And that breach is going to make you keep those pants. And it's going to make you put them right back in the same, the same thing. For some reason, I want to say parachute pants. 